this video i am taking your questions i am also rocking a podium merch if you want to buy this come to podium i guess but like i just bought this t-shirt today and i thought it'll be nice i think it's a little little oversized but i think it looks cool it looks very comfy anyway you guys ask me a lot of questions on instagram on youtube and this is the video i am going to answer all these questions Oh, it's sunny. It's super sunny outside. Did I tell you? It's super sunny. It's going to be 24 degrees. I'm so freaking excited. It hasn't been like this in forever. Like in forever, I'm telling you. You won't understand because India is warm. But if you're living in a cold country, then you'll understand what is the importance of like a really good sun. Like everybody is going to be happy. A couple of people asked if you're single or not. I am single. Yeah, I'm gonna super, put like super <laughs> his Instagram right here. If you can do this, Syed Shoaib, for whoever was asking that, what is this tough guy's name? Shoaib. Okay, another question. Has have I ever faced racism in the US? No, I haven't. Not yet. Okay, somebody is asking, what is what do you think is the most important factor or reason for you to getting admitted for the CGP extracurriculars, etc. So I think the most important reason for me to get admission to Purdue is one that I had that exchange semester that was really good. I maintained my GPA above three. I studied somewhere else. My final year project was risk management and construction projects in Sweden in and India. So uh, one reason why they would have chosen me was because of the diversity I've been into. Somebody asked, tell me about your childhood. I think one thing which I would like to tell about my childhood was for a, for a very long time, I thought that Deja Vu was something which just happened to me and I was some kind of X-Men. So Deja Vu is a thing where you think that this thing has already happened uh, and you're seeing it again that you have already seen it. So remember that show called That's So Raven? I really like that show because I thought that is the thing which is happening to me and when when I'll grow older I'll be able to control it. Yeah, I, th I think that's very funny. Where are you looking forward to settle? US or coming back to India? It's a bit of a tricky question. I'm not sure yet. Uh, US is great but like your home is home. There's a question in which he asked like everybody's talking about studies and cost and stuff but what personal changes happens when you come to US? I think I have a good answer for that. So it's just not US, it's any of the foreign countries. You learn a lot of new cultures, you learn how to talk to people, that second thing. And you have to get out from your bubble. So there's a bubble, there's a comfort zone I would say. That comfort bubble or zone which you are in is the place where you feel comfortable with, where you feel like I can talk anything, I can do anything. When you come abroad for your education, that comfort bubble has to be busted. So that happens. Uh, you get out of your comfort zone, you have to do awkward things, you will do, uh, you will commit mistakes. And committing mistakes is nice rather than not knowing something. Okay, next question. How do you get time to study? As we know, you spend most of the time making vlogs, stuff and traveling. So what you saw the Florida vlogs was like five days of travel, six days of travel after two, two and a half months of studies. You don't see how much time I'm studying. You don't see the behind of the 10 minutes vlog. It will take me probably like an hour of clips to shoot those 10 minutes of vlog. So what you're not seeing is what I'm doing those 23 hours. Uh, somebody asked when is the Gradly app launching? We're working on it. It will take time, but let's see, let's see. I See, I can't wait either. I wish I was a CS person and could help Rishabh in the whole process, but he's doing it by himself right now. So, Hi, would you ever consider to be a full-time YouTuber? By the way, love your videos. Thank you. So it's Rishikesh Shinge. Hey, uh, thanks man. I appreciate your comment. Might be, might not. Actually, YouTube thing doesn't really pay like hundreds and thousands of dollars unless you have like millions and millions of subscribers so if i have that maybe then uh, i'll maybe i'll then convert to a full-time youtuber when are you planning a meetup in india uh so there could be a case where i might be coming to india in may there could be a case and i've posted on youtube already on the community section that where do you guys want me to come I can only come to a limited place because I have no budget 
and I can only fly to like one extra place except for Jaipur and Delhi. I was also thinking to start a Patreon. Let me know what you think about that. Swarupa Day asked, Hey, I already asked you a question about snow on your YouTube channel. So it snows a lot here and uh, she asked that it is difficult for me to travel or to live in this situation. It was a little bit stressful because you can't go out that much. It, it gets you depressed a little bit, but if you should have things to distract yourself, this this video thing is a great way to distract me. I keep I'm always engaged in something or the other. So that's how I get myself distracted. It's a really nice day out there. I wish I could shoot out there, but the wind is too much and so somebody asked, I'm from India and I'm, I'll be so glad if you answer some of my questions. It's are you supported by your parents financially or you took an education loan? I'll answer your question. I took an education loan. I took a hefty amount of education loan. Uh, I uh, after I'll graduate I think I'll have like fifty thousand dollars of debt on me I have to pay by myself my parents won't be paying for me and I don't expect them to pay this was my decision to come to university come for masters and it was not their decision they have always been supported but uh, I think I am that capable now that I can earn my money and then pay off the debts Ashish Thakkar I think do Americans really find Indian accent funny if not, what they really think of us. I don't think so. Did you watch my Florida vlog? I met a couple of my friends, Lindsay and Haley. They don't find my accents funny and you shouldn't find your accent funny as well. Remember one thing, this is not your first language. So however you're speaking, this is a big deal that you're speaking that language. People here, Americans cannot speak any other language. You know that, like a lot of Americans, they can only speak English. They are good to go with that because everybody almost speaks English. If you're speaking English funnily or if you're speaking English not in the similar accent to them, you shouldn't be ashamed at all. I'm not ashamed how I speak. I'm sticking to the accent I have. I think it's perfect and you shouldn't be worried about it at all that people will think it's funny. You have to convey your information. Language is a different thing. They should respect you for the language you know. If you're coming to US and if you're watching this video and you're thinking that my English accent is funny, do not worry about it. I'm telling you, this is the last thing you should be worried about and be self-conscious about. Do not get worried about it at all. So Fuzzle 828 asks, do you still convert everything to rupees in your head? I've been here for two years and I just can't even seem to stop. I think it is true unless you start earning in dollars I think you'll still convert it into rupees because that's how things work I haven't stopped converting it takes time like I've, I've stopped giving that much shit about it ki oh my god this is this because I've realized that it will cost a little more money but it is not as expensive as I was thinking ki, oh my god this is what 10 dollars 600 rupees no it's not like that so I've, I'm past that fact but I, I do still convert don't tell it to but I do still can't do uh, Ayush Parmar asks, when will you make a vlog from inside of the classes at Purdue? I respect the privacy of the professor. I respect the class. I don't want to take this heavy camera or my f even my phone to the class and be like, hey, I'm making a vlog and I'm going to shoot every one of you. Like shoot as in like shoot every one of you. So I don't want to do that. And that's why I don't shoot in the classes. How does American treat Indians? Do you visit rural areas in America? Such an edge ask. So Americans treat Indians like I, to, I think it's I don't want to answer that question. And about the rural thing, I am living in a rural part. Like West Lafayette is a very small town. It's a college town. So that uh, we are gonna end this thing here. What do you love the most about the United States of America? Okay, this is the last question I'm gonna take. So I think one thing which I really love about it is that. It's a little liberal here. Um, people don't really care what you're doing. You can wear whatever you want. You can do whatever you want. And they, they really respect hard work. I've seen this. So if you're working one hour, you'll get paid for one hour. Even if they leave like two minutes after that one hour of their work is over, nobody will uh, ask them to work for 30 minutes unpaid. Whatever you're working for, they'll pay you for that like you're not working to earn you're earning to enjoy life i think that makes sense yeah so i think that's it uh thank you so much guys for tuning in i'm planning on meetup i'm gonna tell you guys more and stay tuned for more videos i hope this q a was impressive 
awkward anyway thank you so much guys for watching this video uh, subscribe to our channel if you haven't it's sunny outside i'm gonna go out and chill a little bit actually get warm a little bit because it's sunny so thank you so much and until then i'll see you in the next one oh you're still here okay maybe i'll answer one more question that you guys asked like a lot of you guys asked uh who am i dating so there it is